everyone and welcome back to our channel. In this week's video I will show you a quick tutorial on how to get started with canvas and work with them within Zoho CRM to customize the look of your CRM system to the needs of your business. Before I begin this video please make sure to subscribe to our channel and click the notification button not to miss any useful information that we share here. So canvas is the tool that can help you to change the visual appeal of your Zoho CRM. Let's go and find it into this in the settings so you can see the customization and here you can find the canvas. When you open up the canvas you can see different types of what you can customize. You can customize the list view, the tail view and form view. So list view is when you open up the records and you can see the, for example, the list of properties, the list of leads, the list of contacts or deals. And we will be customizing the detail view. The detail view is what you see when you actually click on the element or on the record. That's how it looks like. And we want to customize the look of it. And to do that, you need to use Canvas. So let's go to the detail view and press on create record detail page. Let's create one for the properties where uh, we'll be customizing the CRM for the real estate purposes, but you can customize any type of module that you have, any type of custom or um, the regular module. When you open up the canvas, you'll be able to see all the different types of templates that you can customize. I would highly recommend trying to use a template and customize it rather than using the blank template because you can customize it fully there and you will spend much less time customizing the template when you find the one to your liking than creating one from scratch and it will be a bit more neat in my opinion. Uh, you can also save the template to your organization canvas and apply it to different types of list views or detail views uh, so you can have the same look within your um, records within different modules within your Zoho CRM. So you can go and scroll through all of the different types of templates and choose the one to your liking. For example, you can choose this one, which looks pretty cool. It has all of the information, it has the picture, and it has also different types of tabs. The tabs are very useful. There are some um, templates that focus mostly on tabs. For example, this one, we already customized this one. I will show you when we finish the one that we will be creating together, how it looks like in the customized version. Here you can see all of the tabs already here which is again pretty cool, uh, but I want to customize actually the one that I opened up previously, which is this purple one, uh, because not everyone wants to have the tabs right away, which can be useful, but you don't always need it. And you can also, again, structurize the data with, for example, task meetings and um, like calls within the tabs and all of the other information you can keep uh, when you just open up the page. So when you chose the template that you like the most, there is quite a lot to choose from. Uh, don't be scared of the colors. You can fully customize that, the fields, everything. Everything is customizable. Look and uh, focus on the structure of the template the most. You can still customize it, but the structure is the main thing that you have to focus when you are choosing a template. So let's select this one. When you select the template, you will see the canvas builder opening up. So on the left side of the screen, you will see the menu. I want to go through the menu first. First of all, you will see the data, all of the different fields, all of the different related lists, all of the different actions, and all of the different buttons that you can add to this template. If we're talking about the elements, I will show you how they look like right here. First element is the section. The section element is a pretty basic one that will help you to highlight different parts of the canvas. So for example, this one is a selection. This is also a section. Uh, there is different types of sections. You can uh, mark them with different colors to distinguish different parts of the information that you want to see. So visually, you can find the information that you're looking for much faster. You can fi fully customize it. There's also different types of templates. Uh, for example, you can create this one that looks like a 3D. It has this shadow. 
uh, again you can change the color of it and like fully customize it to your needs for example you let's choose and make it like this and then like this so it's fully changed you can fully customize that let's delete this element and go to another element which is the tab let's drag and drop it here uh, so the tab element is what you see here so you can click on different tabs and see all of the different fields within this tab how it works uh, you can create a tab from scratch and go to the uh, to the data and uh, drag and drop different fields related lists or actions within this tab what you can also do that can help you to save time you can click on this plus button and Again, there's a new custom tab, sub tab, and a very useful feature is that you can already create uh, the group of fields that will be in this tab. So for example, you can create closed calls tab. You can see this tab created. Uh, you can um, join it uh, to other fields. You can add other fields, but uh, keep in mind that you can't divide uh, these groups by different uh, tabs. So, for example, if you add the tab of all fields that will that is already added here, you can't uh, divide it. So you will have to scroll through that, and you can't divide it other than doing it uh, on your own and creating uh, the just. Uh, custom tabs let's delete this one oh by the way there is also presets for it there is a gallery of presets you can choose how you want the tabs to look like for example like this like this you can again fully customize the look of it the colors and that kind of stuff so don't be scared about the colors again it's the shapes the forms and the structure of the information that matters when you're choosing something from the preset presets let's delete this one Go to the elements and go to the table element. The table element is one of the most useful ones because it can help you to structure the data. And I want to show you how it looks like. So let's go to the data, go to the fields, and let's go to the property information. You just drag and drop the fields here. And as you can see, they magically uh, go into the... Let's delete the image. It doesn't suit here much. They magically... Uh, arrange themselves into this pretty look. You can add more columns to here, you can make it smaller, like wider, and you can change the shape of it. And again, it has very useful presets that you can use to um, find the information a bit faster. So you can uh, see uh, the division between the fields here a bit better, or like this way. Um, you can again, change the colors, customize that, it's up to you but it's again very very useful let's delete this one go to another element which is text uh, text is basically this this is basic text uh, to distinguish different parts of information you can add the text uh, you can again drag and drop it uh, there's again different types of press presets that can help you to highlight some of the uh, parts of uh, the like the fields that are organized for example uh, you can highlight this one and make it look like a button more more so uh, again you can change the colors everything within here go to another element which is an icon icons are again very very useful let's uh, drop an icon here i want to move the address a bit for example and let's again drag and drop the icon right here and let's choose the location uh, icon the only thing that i hate about the icons is that there's no search uh, within the icons. I know that in some of the other Zoha apps um, there is a search within the icons and it's really frustrating that within the canvas there is no search so you have to manually go through all of the icons to find the one that suits your need and you can change the color. Let's choose the pink color in the theme of uh, this. It is pretty cool because again visually you can distinguish the information much better when you're using the icons uh, the only annoying thing you have to go through 
uh, all of the icons to find the shooting one. Uh, and another element is the line. The line can be used to um, basically divide the text or for design purposes. And the button, uh, the buttons you can add, for example, here. You can add the button, you can change the style of it as, you, as usually in the canvas. Uh, again, there's different types of presets. There's pretty cool ones, for example, this one that again has this 3D look that I really like. Uh, about the buttons uh, here and if you created a custom button uh, again you can uh, drag and drop it right here if you don't add a button for example to delete the record record you won't be able to do that within the record so if you need some buttons make sure to add them um, so you can basically um, do the actions within the record that you need to do. Um, if we're talking about the style, you can again see the different types of presets of uh, the style of different elements. And you can uh, choose different colors like background color, that kind of stuff right here. The other element in the menu is reusable components, uh, so you can save one component and uh, reuse it from template to template, which can help you to uh, create the templates much faster. And there is also a gallery of templates. So, for example, uh, this one is a uh, template from the re reusable components. Um, and there's this one that looks also pretty cool. There's all of the different types of them that you can just drag and drop and make your uh, work with the canvas much more fast. So we talked about the elements in the menu. Let's talk about customizing this template to your needs. First of all, what you need to focus on is what fields you want to see the first time you open the record. The what, I what is the main data that you want to see? So for example, there is an address. The address can be useful for the properties and all of these fields that are already here. Maybe you won't need the notes. You can change that. Uh, maybe you don't need the assistant details. So let's, for example, change the assistant details to property management. And you can change the fields here. Um, first, what you can do is you can delete this field then go to the data, search for a proper field that you want to insert, for example, the landlord. We want to uh, insert the field. What is the problem with that? First of all, it won't have this neat look to it if you drag and drop it, because it's pretty hard to manage the spacing. There's some lines and this uh, guiding lines and the spacing that can help you to uh, understand where to put it but it's, it doesn't have the same feel. And this, the second problem, for example, you want to um, have this field and you want to keep this field in. And you, as you can see, there are different types of fields. So how can you uh, change that? Uh, so for example, if you like the look of a certain field, you can click on it and add to presets. So you have this field in the presets. And when you click on this field, can go to the presets you have the custom and you can make it the same look uh, even if you will delete this one but you liked how the fields looked previously in the template first make sure to uh, add them to uh, the presets and then you can apply it to the existing fields except for the presets that uh, you can create or like you can save there is also a gallery of the presets that can also be uh, pretty cool to use for example this one with a little highlighted thing there's also this one there is all of the different types one there is again one that will be highlighted uh, for example you want to highlight the landlord it's up to you you can do that but let's go to the custom presets and keep it like this because I like how it looks like. Um, that's one way to do that. There is a much faster way to do that if you like the look of the fields. I instead of making a press preset, going through all of these steps, you can just click on this field and change the field to the one that you would like. For example, you can choose the agent that you want to see right here. Um, 
and that's how it's done it's so easy it's literally two clicks and you can just fully change all of the fields that you see when you just open up uh, this template very very easy again say, same can go to change the related at least to for example let's change it to deals because that's that can be more relevant to you the information um, you can see all of the deals that are associated to this property again you don't like the style of it you can easily change that there's first of all when you click on it there's different types of templates of how the data will be shown so there's the one template there can be another template that looks like this which doesn't really suit into our wipe uh, there's another one also doesn't really suit there's this one which is a bit better but it's a bit too small again for our space so let's go back to the first one and then we can just change uh, the type of like how it looks like just by changing for example the color to this pink one and as you can see when you just change the color in one of the deals all of the uh, colors of the like these headings of the deals and the names of the deals will change which is very very also useful function so everything has this more neat and pretty look to it and now let's save this canvas and see how it looks like so let's go back to our property we can go scroll down here go to the standard and you can see the test tool and you can see how it looks like it's a much better look considering that it ties up with the theme of our CRM, which is this purplish color. And again, here you can see the main uh, information. Here you can see the picture. Uh, you see all of these buttons, the close task, the open calls, and you can see all of the different tabs all around here. I will also show you uh, the other template that we created. Uh, so again, it's very easy to find uh, the different types of canvas and go from the canvas view. You can also go to the standard view. Go back if you prefer this simple look and you want to scroll down through everything. And you can also see the other uh, template that we created. This one that has a bit of different feel to it, a bit different structure to it. You can see that here um, are different tabs and again you can fully customize this to your brand colors to the needs of your company and make it much more prettier and easier to find the information when you're just opening up the record thank you so much for watching this video i really hope that it was helpful for you and if you have any questions about zoa crm or any other zoa app its implementation integration customization or the support of it make sure to book a free consultation with one of our experts by the link down below in the description box. If you have any additional questions, leave them down below in the comments. Make sure to subscribe to our channel and I will see you in the next week's video.